Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel. 34 times the Booster Club has been called upon and 34 times they've answered. Join the team today and help send the prophets around the world. 12 tribes worldwide. Shalom. I can't get enough for this word. Call me library. All you do is talk. I tell them read. I'll be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'm going to teach. I let the laws tear. You rebuck your doctrine. Can't believe I even fell for it. No top models, no need for worries, cause God got us. See, masculinity need to be shown to for real. And all of you that's cross-dressing would be dressed to be killed. Apollo Creed, but I'm hitting like I'm holy field. You counting sheep, but you the high lean, the type to flee. This for the meat, when the battle won't, they gnash their teeth. I can't believe I even fell for their hypocrisy. Like it or not, it's Kwam Yasharala. Laws attached to the brain, a dubla obligata. We are not the same over here, we walk with giants. Yeah, Ten toes, toes down, down with the clay is mixed with iron. I can't get enough for this word, call me library. All you do is talk, I tell them read, I be your ball bearer. As long as my hands clean, I'm a teacher, I let the laws tear. You rebuck your doctrine, can't believe I even fell for it. Give me um, Isaiah 1 and 3. This is a comparison to show you how lost our people are. Because the he's going to compare us to two dumb animals. Just to show you how lost we are. But these dumb animals are not as lost as we are. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. So right here we talk about an ox. A dumb animal. He says that the ox knoweth his owner. Read. And the ass is master's credit. So right here it says the ass. He knows where he live at. He knows where he live. Okay? Read. But Israel does not know. So it says that Israel, who we are, we don't know who own us, and we don't even know where we're from. It gave comparison to two animals. Read again from the top. The ox knows his owner. Okay, the ox. And the ass is master's credit. Read. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. If you look around right now, our people don't even consider who they are. Right. Just look around, look at the state of our people. This is the Sabbath day. Right. The Lord's high holy day. They don't right. even consider what all the priests are keeping. Right. We're living with our priests, doing what they do on the Lord's high holy day. Right. This day right here is supposed to be separate. Right now, we're doing our own will. Right. Give me Isaiah 58 to 13. Right now, we're out here just doing our own will. It might seem like something good, but this ain't good. This is the Lord's high holy day. Right. This is the day that's supposed to be separate, sacred. We're right. supposed to convocate and we're supposed to be worshiping, that's not right. reveling. Right. This don't have nothing to do with us. Bring it Read. Up. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13. Bring it up. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. So right now it's saying, if you turn your foot away from the Sabbath. Right now, if you look around, they're not keeping the Sabbath day. You see buying, you see selling, you see reveling. Right. It's not about the Sabbath. But doing their pleasure. So right now, everybody over here doing their own pleasure. This is not of God. This is not of God. Right. This is his high holy day. This day is supposed to be separate Bring from it all up. other days. Read. Right. On my holy day. This is the Lord's high holy day. Right. You're not supposed to be buying. You're not supposed to be selling. Right. You're not supposed to be reveling. Right. You're supposed to be keeping the laws of God. That's keeping right. this day separate. You've had six days to do this. But right. look at what you're doing today. Right. This is not of God. Read. Right. And call the Sabbath and delight. This is supposed to be delightful. You know why? For six days, within them six days, do you know how many brothers and sisters possibly have been killed and they get to make it to see this day? See. This should be a delight. Right. You did not have to wake up this morning. You did not have to wake up yesterday morning. The most I could have put you to death. Right. You could have been crossing the street and got hit by a car. What's the question? This is the seventh day. If you look at a calendar, what is the first day you see on the week? Sunday. 
Sunday and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is the seventh day. That's right. Sundown Friday night to sundown Saturday. That is the Lord's high holy day, the seventh day. Right. The seventh day of the Lord. Give me um, Exodus 20 and 8. I'm going to show you something that the Most High said, okay? And it might seem small, but it's big. He said that you, was, well, you will forget it. Remember. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember, remember the Sabbath day. He said, remember the Sabbath day. How many people over here are remembering the Sabbath day? Hey. None of them know. Listen at it. Hey. Hey what? Hey, you in the midst of sin. That's right. Right now, this is the Lord's high holy day. Read it again from the top. Remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. This day is supposed to be kept holy. Right. Meaning, this day is supposed to be separate from the other six days that you had to do everything else. Right. You had six days to sell. You had six days to buy. Right. You had six days to work. Right. This day right here is the day of the Lord. This day, we're supposed to be keeping the Lord's high holy day. Gee. This is not a day you do your own thing. Gee. It's already ordained what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Okay? We're going to show you exactly when the day begins. The day don't begin. Matter of fact, in Genesis, let's go to Genesis. Let me show you what God said, how you know when the day begins. Because when the God created all creations, he gave a specific order how everything went. He said from evening to morning is the first day. Right. Evening to morning is the second day. It wasn't at 12. The most high did not say, okay, at 12 o'clock at night, the day begins. How does that make sense? Read. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Yeah. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heavens. So right here, this is when God created the light. He said, let it be light in the firmament of heaven. Read. To divide the day from the night. So it's going to give you a division when nighttime is and when daytime is. Read. And let them be for size and for seasons and for days and years. So right now he's telling you this right here is going to give you the order. How everything is, how you know your seasons, your days, and your times. Read. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Read. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. So one light is for day and one light is for night. What day? What, what light rules the day? The sun. What light rules the night? The moon. Read. The stars also. So we're giving you the order of how God created everything. Everything has order. God gave us order. We right. was not never an out of order people. Right. We became out of order when we became in slavery, when we came in sin. Right. Now look at us. We are out of order on the Lord's high holy day. Bring it up. But we're supposed to be understanding that this is the Lord's high holy day. And sundown last night to sundown tonight, this is the Lord's high holy day. You understand where I'm coming from? From evening to morning, it's the first day. Read. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 32. Read up. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month, and even from evening unto evening, you shall celebrate your Sabbath. So right now, when is the evening time? What time is evening? Isn't that when the sun go down? Yes. You got morning, you got noon, and then you got evening. What? Read that again, even for even. It says from even to even. This is letting you know when the day is. A day is from even to even. That means when the sun go down, until the sun go down again. That is evening to evening. That is one day. Read it again. From, us, from even unto even shall, be, shall, you, shall you celebrate your Sabbath. From even unto even. Last night at sundown was the beginning of the Sabbath. Tonight at sundown is the end of the Sabbath. That is one day. And then the next day begins. So at sundown tonight actually will be the first day of the week. What's that? Great. Uh-huh. Why do we... But where did we learn that at? I learned... We learned that in slavery because that was the day that they gave us, gave us off the work. And the Catholic Church actually changed it. The Catholic Church changed it from Saturday to Sunday. Sunday was the day that they gave slaves off to rest. And that was the only day they let us worship. And then when we was worshiping, guess who was in there with us when we worshiped? Your oppressor. I, I don't know who that was. I know who that was. 
And we, Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. Real. And we shall speak great words against the Most High. So who will speak great words against the Most High? How could you speak against God? By not keeping his laws. Right. By changing his laws. Right. And so where are the saints? So wearing out the saints is what? When we was put in slavery. Everything that we knew, we got, it's not like it's got erased. Because if you didn't bow down to the Christianity, what happened to you? You got put to death. Right. Read. And so where are the saints of the most high? And think to change times and laws. So what times have been changed? Right now we have daylight saving times. Right. Okay, now you got when the day start. What laws been changed? Now they say a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a woman. Oh yeah! This is right here what the Bible is speaking of. The Gee. same thing that is happening right now has already been foretold that was going to happen. Gee. But our people don't even consider. Right. They going right back to um, Isaiah 1 and 3. Right going to go right back to where we began at. Because our people don't even consider. Gee. We are God's chosen people. Right. By us being God's chosen people, we have to understand that we have standards to live by. Right. We're not like everybody else. We were separate from everybody. Right Read that again. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knows his owner. So an ox knows who owns him. Read. And the ass is master's grip. Uh-huh. But Israel does not know. My so, people do not consider. So our people don't know, nor do we consider. Right. So now, what is wrong with us? Let me show you something that's going on right now. You know how right now, you see how these young children are? You see how disrespectful all of them are? It's a reason why. It's already been foretold that this is going to happen. Did you know that? Read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are the oppressors. So how are children oppressing us today? You got your bloods, you got your crips, you got little kids that are, they'll walk up and they'll probably push you over, get, get out of my way. No respect that when they talk to you, they say, huh, what? Read. And women rule over them. Who usually rule the households nowadays? Women rule the household. How y'all doing today? Y'all know who y'all are according to the Bible. Y'all have a moment. If I was ask you who you are, where do you see yourself right here on the sign? You don't see yourself nowhere. What is your nationality? Nationality. I mean, what is your father? What's your father? Okay, so African American, you are what your father is. You will be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Now, how would I know that, Bob? You, your father, give me Numbers one and eighteen. It's, it's written in the Bible how we understand who we are. It goes by the seed of the father, not by the woman. Right. Like if I had an apple seed. And I plant the apple seed right here, what's going to grow? An apple tree. If I take that same seed and I put it in um, California and I plant it, what's going to grow? An apple tree. Right. Because it's going by the seed. Okay? Read. Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Real. And they assembled all together, the congregation together, on the first day of the second month. Right. Read. And they declared their pedigree after their families. Go ahead. By the house of their fathers. So by the house of your father, that's how you understand who you are. Right. But we're going to go back to where we was. I was trying to edify them real quick, but they left. Okay, go ahead. Go back to um, Isaiah 3 and 12. Read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Uh -huh. As for my people, children are the oppressors. So children are the oppressing us today with the games. Sometimes in certain neighborhoods, they don't, you can't, a lot of older people can't even come outside and do what they want to do. What? Right. So they're, they're more like captives in their houses. Read. And women rule over them. So why is it that the, the kids that are here oppressing and women are ruling over them? Because we are, our fathers are not in the household. The men are not doing their job. They're making the babies and they're leaving. And then a lot of times the women are taking this, um, this housing from the government to where they can't have a man in there. A lot of projects. If you go down here to any one of these projects, I think it's one up here on Grand Street in their projects right there. You go in there, the majority of the people that stay there, the women, the man can't stay there, but a man come and go as he please. Right. So he'll come and leave a baby there, but he can't stay there. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to earth. So the people that leading us is the woman. The reason why these why these men or these young kids are oppressing us because they're going off of how the woman is. A woman is an emotional beast. 
You ever see been around a woman when she on a cycle? You don't know who she is. Wait, I tell you what. If you ever be around one, you'll see that they're a little bit unstable sometimes. Right! <laughs> because they're they got emotions running through them at that time. So now you got little kids, they're raised being raised by a single mother, but the father is not there. So if the father's not there, read on. Thank you. And destroy the way of thy path. So they'll destroy the way of our paths, how we go, how we go about. Now our children growing up, they're in games, fathers ain't there. So now they got an effeminate spirit. Now back in the day, if you had an altercation with somebody, what would, what would happen? Y'all would get up and y'all would throw hands, right? Now what are they doing? They're shooting. Now you don't even get to live to see another day. You're killed. It is over with. Your life is done. Because women rule over us. And they're leading the household. That's like they said, who wears the pants in the house? Remember that? So how, when a woman is supposed to be wearing a dress, we supposed to be wearing the pants. Bring it up! We supposed to be leading. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.